fire, fire, fire. My name is Faye and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, I love you. You're a real one. Um, if you like what you see, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Smash the bell button if you want to be upload. You want to be informed every time I upload. Do that for your girl. Now this is going to be real simple, real quick. A little trends video. So it's fall. I think yesterday was officially the first day of fall i'm in chicago it has been feeling like it's fall it's cold now the nights are cool the breeze is there no more beaches no more sun <laughs> it's over summer's over so i'm here to keep it real give you the good deets on you know what you should be wearing how to look cute how to stay true and how you can take the trends from the runway and implement them into your everyday fashion or your style or your i guess you know you want to look cute you want to know what's trending you want to make it work for you not everybody has you know runway style and not everybody has the finances to access you know a two thousand dollar shirt you know it, it doesn't work out that way we, we all wish it did but it doesn't so i'm here to snip snip and give you all the information so you don't have to do that yourself now i have 20 trends um and i'll tell you my top three the ones that i'm implementing on i have implemented and i'll tell you my bottom three the ones that i don't really think that is yeah like it's a trend and that that's the beginning and end of it like me and her we, we don't we don't move like that now now since uh this year has been a, kind of weird with coronavirus and everything um, a lot of the trends have been more wearable I would say the consumer has really driven the direction of the designer whereas in the past it's usually the designer who tells us what the trends are and we just oh that's cute and we wear it um, and I think that's a very interesting dynamic that is taking shape in the fashion industry and it might actually change the fashion you know dynamic as a whole We'll see, we'll have to see about that. But without further ado, the first trend, and the trend you've probably seen everywhere, is brown. Like, deep chocolate brown. Especially for my brown girls out there, it's like the perfect trend for you. It's so complimentary. It just enhances every feature that you have. It makes you look mm, like a lovely chocolate bar. People just want to rip you apart. Mm, mm, yummy. Um, it's just, yeah, it's so delicious. It just looks so wholesome. Like, it's technically brown is also a neutral color but it's not it's not a nude it's not a black and it's not a white so people st stay clear of it especially girly girls like myself um if we're gonna pick a dark color would pick black um but it's definitely a color that i see myself you know probably implementing in my wardrobe as i start shopping for fall and it's very interesting to see like the different takes from the jackets to the jumpers to the shoes it's just everywhere like the full-on brown on brown sets it's just beautiful okay now this leads me into my next trend which is elevated laundry i mean we've been sitting at home for like the last six months so this is a given now this is this means not the lounger that you wear at home and it's thread, threadbare or like it's it's ripping at one side it's like super baggy and it just happens to match that jumper that your dad gave you 10 no this is like actual deliberate lounger um that is for going out so it looks a little bit more dressed up it has a nice sleeves it's made with nicer material um i've seen a lot you know all, all over the place and it's like really a trend that i've always bought into like this you know i've always worn um elevated uh laundry because on the weekends i really i really don't want to be caring about um i mean that was how it was before now i wear laundry every day <laughs> um but yeah it's very easy to style very easy you know you don't even have to think about it you just wear the top wear the bottom and it's you could also wear in other ways it's really versatile you wear a top with jeans you can wear the bottoms with a, a blouse or a sweater you know and you can pair it so it's like very versatile um 
trend number three which is my favorite trend of the season and i don't really think it's a trend for me because i think this is like my personal style and that is the preppy style the preppy trend that you've seen everywhere it's all encompassing um there are other trends that are in you know this video which is a derivative of the preppy trend because they're specific but like the preppy trend like and by preppy trend i mean blair waldorf everything you imagine her wearing from in constant all the way to you know her happily ever after that is the trend that is what we're going for we're seeing knee-high socks we're seeing brogues we're seeing oxfords we're seeing loafers we're seeing lovely heels um chunkier heels i mean those are these are all trends as well but it's just beautiful watching the preppy trend and i'm just gonna put so many pictures up here so you can see what i'm talking about so you can envision it with me just think every time you think of preppy think blair waldorf and you're on the right track um number four part of the preppy trend sweater vests oh my god personally i don't know if i will be able to wear sweater vests um because i i do have a ladder bust and i don't know how it will flatter me so i'm actually interested going i'm going shopping this weekend and i'm interested to see you know try some on and see how they'll actually look at me and whether it will be flattering and whether i can pull it off because i'm i'm really curious i've seen so many people wear especially like the really oversized ones i don't think i'd be wearing an oversized vest i, I think i'd wear a fitted vest um yeah but i've seen so many you can see the ones with them i know there's a word for it like the the crisscross pattern the cable knits there's so many like if you see a, a vest grab it in a thrift shop grab it your da grandpa's closet grab it it's on trend put a white t-shirt under it. i mean a white um shirt button-up shirt underneath it mm, perfection uh next we have cardigan sets now i don't know if you know the brand kate's like they they are known for like iconic sleek beautiful pieces um they came up with cardigan sets you know this these t teeny tiny um you know crop tops and then you have um a little matching cardigan with it um it's made its way down in the high streets if you check um h&m zara uh top shop and other stories all the brands they have it like different versions and they're super cute i really like them but personally like i said i'm big interested probably not <laughs> um yeah so moving along the same vein is long cardigans or cardigans as jumpers you know like you know a cardigan you just button it up wear it with jeans or you can wear it like a cami underneath and you just wear it like that or you can wear it with a coat over top so it's like the top or you can have the really long cardigans over like a sweater vest um, sweater dress or like t-shirt and jeans with a nice tote bag like that's the look you look perfect you you know it's a trend but it's not a new trend it's not anything out of the box it's you know it's it you we've been wearing cardigans the next one is another one of my favorite trends the skirt suit another blair waldorf like think tweed think chanel think kate spade like that that very perfect pristine girly pink um you you have like a tweed fabric with like pink and and cream and maybe like a dark brown to highlight it and it's like with pearl buttons yes perfection that's what we're talking about now on your feet loafers now i've been seeing the chunky loafer trend i s saw a few from prada um bottega like the major brands and they're cute like i mean they i, I looked at prada yesterday and i, I, I on farfetch then I incessantly was trying to look for a pair but I didn't find one but I, I have seen the pictures online and they are really cute they're really like they have a certain S to them with the Prada logo on top and I don't know how I feel about that it it, it, it definitely uh, it's not a classic loafer that you will be able to wear next year I don't think unless the trend continues um, but I think that there are ways that you can sneak this into your wardrobe like I feel like a better approach would be to get like the regular gucci loafers because those are more classic they will stay in your wardrobe forever but this trend is the chunky loafer trend so oh you could get like a heeled chunky loafer trend you know you have to test it out and see where your limitations lie but that's the trend next bra tops now i don't know if you've seen all the pictures of teeny little models wearing like 
bras on top of like shirts jumpers personally i don't like this trend this would be in my bottom three why would you be wearing a like a tiny tiny thing on top it just looks it just looks i know it's a way to like make an unflattering thing look flattering but it's also still unflattering so i don't know why people would do that but that's the trend that's what people are wearing that's what the models of duty are doing so go ahead uh next we have interesting necklines oh man do i love this these are one of the like most interest i guess interesting um trends of the season so i mean we're all on zoom calls you're only seeing your upper body anyway so why not get something that has a very interesting neckline i know in other stories are dishing out so many um kate also has so many the ribbed type the the, fu the fuzzy type so like they're jumpers but they come with like different necklines so it could be a sweetheart neckline and a square neckline i, I have one in a cart on H&M that I want to go try because I'm a bit broader shoulder but it's a square cut and I want to see how that looks on you know like square cuts sweethearts like it's not just like a mainstream sweetheart and that's it no 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 they're, they're mixing cuts so it could be like a scoop neck and a sweetheart neckline it's like it's like crazy the things that they're doing they're really like pushing the frontier of what we knew was conventional in fashion and what we were used to they're like no 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 this is the this is where we're going this follow us um and i think it's just thinking outside the box we're always sitting at home you know zoom calls you always want to look cute what's a better way of looking cute than having a different neckline every day <laughs> next on the list similarly puffy sleeves dramatic sleeves now i have seen some really wacky ones i've seen like um I don't know if you you know like a the, the neck or the head of like a dinosaur you know like or like a main like they put it around here I, I don't know why you would want a sweater that looks like that but like I like the puffy sleeves the voluptuous sleeves that slims down into your arm that looks really pretty that would be really wearable um, and you have ones with smaller puffs you have bigger puffs you have like extremely like you have the ones that puffed all the way to your wrist like really beautiful they're they're really really doing some lovely things different fabrics different materials um and i think this is a trend like they're doing this on cardigans they're doing this on sweaters they're doing this on shirts like you will be able to find this trend um and it will be beautiful and it will be simple to implement because it's something that it's your regular mainstream item but elevated for this season um next we have cropped blazers yeah like around your belly button very very like it's, it's supposed to give you like that boxy look but um cuts you in at the waist this is another model of beauty look this is not a look that i i think personally that i would wear because like i said i'm a bigger girl I don't know how this would look on me but definitely i'm interested to see how it looks like i do like a like a big oversized blazer so if i could find an oversized blazer um and could wear with high-waisted jeans and look cute and like a little like cropped uh sweater i will knock it i will try it um but yeah it's very fascinating how i've seen this be styled all over you know the internet is like people are really pushing the envelope it's it's mm -hmm. Now, this is my favorite trend of the season, the equestrian style. So for me, it's the equestrian style, then the preppy style. Now, why did I say this is my favorite trend? Um, when I was in boarding school, I did actually do horse riding. So I like I loved wearing jodhpurs. I loved, I, I remember when I was in boarding school, I mean, I don't know if it was actually fashionable but i thought it was fashionable from american apparel i think or american something they used to have like these jodhpurs and like disco pants and like men that was the trend and obviously like I, I i'm not very hippie so like i used to wear it and i had no hips and maybe a little bum um and i'm pretty sure that i it looked it didn't look good but i thought it looked good and that's all that matters um yeah so like it, it was it was basically the the 
the it's the equestrian trend i'm i'm loving like i already have riding boots in my collection i'm ready to pull that out and wear those i'm ready to invest in another pair um i'm ready to buy some jodhpurs or like it doesn't even have to be jodhpurs it could just be like slim fitting pants and then you can wear it with like a faux shearling gilet and um, a sweater and there you go beautiful and then wear like a uh maybe the gucci horse bit style bag i don't know i i see i see a dress or like a, you know a style in my mind and i know what it looks like and if i put it together i will show you yes a question style jumpers riding boots we love them we love them <laughs> the next style is dark jeans so as the season as, as it gets colder you want to transition from lighter jeans into darker jeans that's, that's a given that's usually what happens in winter it's like it's it's a trend it's not a trend but it's like it's like an accompaniment trend so it's like half a trend it's like it's kind of i mean it's not quite as bad as you know saying that you can't wear white jeans after labor day but it's it's one of those things that happen naturally and especially because you know people wear darker colors in winter it's, it's just the thing that happens but you don't have to follow it if you like your light wash jeans stick with it they're not out of fashion similarly to the previous loafer trend is the chunky boot trend i don't know if you've seen them in zara i mean bottega have bottega have a pair prada has a pair they're everywhere um, i don't know how i feel about this trend i'm on the fence i i like it in pictures i don't know if i can commit because it's like really grungy it's like really like that doc martin trend like i never got to doc martins because i don't understand why i'd pay a hundred plus dollars to break in a shoe you should be comfortable from the moment i put you on my feet um yeah but like that chunky shoe trend i might like i think if i wear it with like you know a flowy skirt um or even with like a tweed skirt it might like juxtapose it in a very beautiful way but i'm not i'm not confident i don't feel like it has the idea hasn't taken root in my mind it's just it's just an idea right now but if i find a pair if like i go shopping and i see something i'm coming for you i'm coming um yeah now this is a trend that is really interesting and i'm glad it's around but i don't know how <laughs> it got here it's like it's like you know when somebody says just something random in a chat and you're like it's one of those things so it's the long gloss trend like you know like you know disney princesses long gloss like you know you were to um I don't know if people do the, did this like prom or like a dance or a ball like not not just wearing like leather gloves like all the way like up now this is a trend i probably wouldn't purchase i if you do want to do this or try it out i would say like get one from amazon don't invest in this because it's it's a trend it's 100 percent a trend it's not gonna last it's not gonna it's probably i mean if you invest in it this year maybe in like 10 years you might wear it again but no definitely not um i personally won't invest in it because like i said i'm you know i'm bigger and because of things like that they probably wouldn't make it in my size and i'll just be struggling for not i don't do things like that to myself um fellow following swiftly along um leather all things leather like leather is like really they're like everything that can be leatherable is leathered anything like even before like leather has been a trend for like I, I would say the last three years so they did the leather pants and they slowly you know worked its way into like you know leather i mean we've always had leather gloves but like those became a trend and then we had leather dresses but like now like everything leather skirts leather dresses leather shorts like you can wear a full leather look leather you know uh corsets leather like everything that can be leathered is leathered like leather <laughs> it's like a lot of leather and you can actually wear like it's not like denim which was a full part but it's now not so, like you can wear a full den a full leather outfit and that's fashionable i wouldn't recommend it i would i would say like you could do like a le leather blazer and like leather shorts and like break it up with a uh, with a sweater and like i mean leather boots <laughs> That would I think that would look really cool. Um, 
but for the most part like leather is really she's really here to stay she's like and it's also like the vegan leather which is also like a sub trend um, I don't know your opinions on you know the leather industry we can have a conversation about that at you know later time but uh yeah I, I, I wouldn't buy 100% I mean it's expensive but and aside from that there's no reason to torture those poor animals just because you want a jacket. Now, there's a new trend which is scars. Like, I mean, I know what you're thinking, like, there's scars everywhere. Yeah, but, um, no, I don't mean scars around your neck, scars, scars um, around your bag. I mean scars on your head. Like, I mean, like, the 90s trend, but, like, not even the 90s trend. It's like this whole hobo peasant vibe look that they're doing. It's like, I'm covering my head, but I'm, 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 I'm covering my head, head in Gucci, but I, I'm looking like off duty, and it, it's not deliberate that type of, you know, scarf look. I personally do not like this trend. I just think it's like another unnecessary accessory. I much rather prefer like a headband or a hat. That that makes sense. But you know, we don't always do things that make sense over here. <laughs> We're humans. Second to last trend is the chunky chain accessories. So you know, the, one of the trends earlier this year was chunky chain necklaces, chunky chain um, bracelets, chunky chain everything, anything that could be chunkified and chained was chunkified and chained because Bottega thought it was a good idea to put it on a bag then put it on shoes then put it so now it's actually a trend and everybody's doing it like that I, I would say that I will not like even if I had the money which I, I at the moment I don't I would not buy a Bottega chunkified like purse or shoes I would take that money and test out the trend I mean I wouldn't even test out the trend personally but if you wanted to you could go to this small brand it's affordable luxury um which is it's the brand is called cara it's 300 dollars for the chunky for their version of the chunky and they have silver as well as gold so you can check it out i'll link that down below if you're curious and yeah like if i've seen any of these trends that i think you should try out i will also li link all of those down below so do check the description box if you're interested these are not affiliate links don't be scared uh, i'm not I, I only have 20 of you nobody cares about me and the final trend is another trend i will not be trying socks with sandals or heels this trend comes every couple of years or every year you know because it's cold but people still want to wear heels but it's winter so you can't really be walking around like a crazy person so people wear socks i mean i tried this i think two years ago with like glitter socks and like orange glitter unruffled socks with orange heels and it was kind of cute it's just <laughs> i mean i mean hmm. if i have the right motivation i'm sure i could do it i could wear it with like loafers like if i was wearing like heeled loafers but i wouldn't just wear it with um like strappy sandals no I, I wouldn't do that again it's just because i'm pretty sure this year is going to be a very cold winter and i'm not about to do that yeah those are the 20 trends that have been f flitting across my eyes i gave them all to you obviously there are other trends that i haven't covered so um if you're interested in a specific trend please do comment down below i can do a styling video specifically about that item or that trend um if there's anything you want to know more information i'm usually more active on my instagram so go stalk me on there it's at by Shire, or my snapchat at Faye, or my tiktok also at by Shire. um so let's be friends let's talk let's 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 see what do you like what what don't you like what are you interested in um but that's all for me um thank you for being here thank you for taking the time out i really do appreciate you i hope you're all doing well i hope your mental health is okay i hope you know you have people caring for you i hope you're not being reckless you're taking your time taking the necessary precautions even if you're going out um and i hope the rest of the year is splendid for you as christmas is approaching i'm just getting ready to get rid of 2020 because she was um 
don't need to say the word. So yeah, thank you. Satya. See you later. Annyeong.